Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we are going to take up the MCQs which are based on today's news article of The Hindu and Indian Express. The topics for today's discussion are listed on your screen. Let us begin our discussion. The first question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number 6 in The Hindu. It basically talks about millets and it is consistently in news after the declaration of 2023 as International Year of Millets by United Nations General Assembly. And this article talks about millets and its properties. Every year, UPSC asks questions related to different crops. In 2016, a question was asked on initiative for nutritional security through intensive millet promotion. In this question, you are being given three statements and you need to identify which of them is or are correct. The practice question which we have curated says that with reference to millets, consider the following statements. The first one, millets, a group of small grain cereal crops are both gluten free and non-allergenic. It is a correct statement. Millets are a group of small cereal crops and they are highly resistant to extreme weather conditions and they can be grown with minimal chemicals such as fertilizers and pesticides. And millets are healthy grain alternative because they are gluten free and non-allergenic. Hence, the first statement is correct. The second statement, India is the fifth largest producer of millets in the world. It is an incorrect statement. India produces around 80% of Asia's millets and 20% of global production. And we are the largest producer in the world and fifth largest exporter of millets, which makes this statement incorrect. The third one says, India celebrated 2018 as the National Year of Millets to promote the production and consumption of millets in the country. It is a correct statement. India celebrated the National Year of Millets in 2018. And after India's consistent efforts, the United Nations General Assembly declared 2023 as the International Year of Millets. The answer to this question becomes C, which is 1 and 3 only. And the answer to the previous year question is also C, which is 1 and 2 only. Because there is no provision of providing free kits of critical inputs. And the third statement is incorrect. And the statement 1 and 2 are correct. Moving on to the next question, which is based on this news article, which has appeared on page number 9 in The Hindu. The context of this news is that a baby was born in United Kingdom using three persons DNA through a process called mitochondrial donation treatment. And this treatment involves replacing the unhealthy mitochondria in the mother with the healthy mitochondria. As the scientific interventions in the medical field are important and recurring theme in UPSC prelims exam, hence this area is important for our discussion. In 2013, a question has been asked on diseases which can be transmitted from one person to another through tattooing. In this question, you are being given three diseases and you need to identify the correct one. Just take a pause and try to solve this question. The practice question which we have curated says that consider the following statements with reference to mitochondrial diseases. Before solving the practice MCQ, let us try to understand what are the mitochondrial diseases. Mitochondrial diseases are group of genetic disorders that primarily affect the mitochondria which are the energy producing structures within our cells. And what is mitochondria? Mitochondria are tiny organelles inside cells and they are often referred to as powerhouses of cell. And it converts the energy molecules which we get from food to usable energy. The first statement, mitochondrial diseases are only passed through the mother. It is a correct statement. Because the genetic disorder of mitochondrial DNA is primarily inherited maternally. This is because the sperm provides almost no cytoplasm to the fertilized egg. And the egg has thousands of mitochondria and they are passed to developing embryo. Hence, our first statement is correct. The second statement says, faulty mitochondria can cause conditions such as heart problems, liver failure, brain disorders and muscular dysotrophy. It is again a correct statement because the faulty mitochondria can cause conditions such as heart problem, liver failure, brain disorder, blindness and muscular dysotrophy. And there is no cure for mitochondrial DNA disease at present. The answer to this question becomes C which is both 1 and 2. And the answer to the previous year question is B which is 2 
and three only. It was a easy question as chikungunya is a disease which is transmitted through the bite of mosquitoes. And the moment you eliminate first, you will reach the correct answer. Moving on to the next question, which is based on this news, which featured on page number 11 in The Hindu. The context of this news is that Mr. Parveen Sood is appointed as new CBI director by center government. Organizations like CBI are important from UPSC prelims exam perspective and one should be aware about the appointment process of CBI director. In 2017, UPSC asked about Quality Council of India and in this question, you need to identify the correct statements. The practice question which we have curated says that consider the following statements with reference to Central Bureau of Investigation which is known as CBI. The first statement, the establishment of CBI was recommended by Swarn Singh Committee. It is an incorrect statement as it was Santhanam Committee on Prevention of Corruption which recommended the establishment of CBI which makes this statement incorrect. The second statement, it was made statutory body by parliament in 2013. It is again an incorrect statement. Central Bureau of Investigation was set up in 1963 by resolution of Ministry of Home Affairs and it is a non-constitutional and non-statutory body. Our second statement is incorrect. The third statement says, the director of CBI is appointed by central government on the recommendation of three-member committee consisting of prime minister, leader of opposition and home minister. It is again an incorrect statement as the changes have been made after the enactment of Lokpal and Lokayukta Act of 2013. Now the central government shall appoint the director of CBI on the recommendation of three member committee which consists prime minister, leader of opposition and the chief justice of India or the judge of supreme court nominated by chief justice of India. Home minister is not a part of this committee. And the answer to this question becomes D, which is none of the above. And the answer to the previous year question is C, which is both 1 and 2. The next question of today's discussion is based on this news, which featured on page number 4 in Indian Express. It basically talks about the revolt of 1857, which holds an important place in India's national movement. UPSC has a habit of asking questions related to the revolts which happened during freedom struggle. In 2020, a question related to Ulgulan revolt was asked and on the similar lines we have curated one practice question related to the revolt of 1857 and you need to identify the causes behind this particular revolt. The first one is introduction of greased cartridges. The second one is discrimination among sepoys. The third one is policy of doctrine of lapse. The fourth one is rolling out of factories act and the fifth one is religious interference. The greased cartridges for enfield rifles were against the religious sentiments of soldiers and it was one of the major reason behind this particular revolt. And there was a discrimination among sepoys which also created a resentment among soldiers. The policies like doctrine of lapse and the annexation of Awadh was the immediate cause of this particular revolt. The factories acts were passed in 1881 and 1891. Hence they do not play any role in this particular revolt. And the last one is religious interference. Britishers follow the policy of interference among traditional customs, for example, ban on human sacrifice, and they also brought laws on the practice of sati and widow remarriage. And religious interference became an important reason for 1857 revolt. And the answer to this question becomes D, which is 1, 2, 3 and 5. And the answer to the previous year question is D as Ulgulan revolt is the description of Birsa Munda revolt. Moving on to the next question which is based on this particular news which featured at page number 6 in The Hindu. It basically talks about inflation in the country where CPI and WPI plays an important role in measuring the retail inflation and wholesale inflation. In 2020, UPSC asked about consumer price index and wholesale price index. In this question, you have been provided three statements and you need to identify which of them is or are correct. The practice question which we have curated says that consider the following statements related to wholesale price index and consumer price index. In short, they are called as WPI and CPI. The first statement, both WPI and CPI are published by the Office of Economic Advisor. It is an incorrect statement. Although 
डब्ल्यू पी आई इज पब्लिश बाय द इकोनॉमिक एडवाइजर विच कम्स अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री वाइल सी पी आई इज पब्लिश बाय नेशनल स्टेटिस्टिकल ऑफिस विच मेक्स दिस स्टेटमेंट इन करेक्ट द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट द इंक्रीज इन फूड प्राइजेज वुड हैव हायर इम्पैक्ट ऑन डब्ल्यू पी आई देन सी पी आई इट इज अगेन एन इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज द वेटेज विच इज गिवन टू फूड आइटम्स इन सी पी आई इज मोर देन द वेटेज ऑफ फूड इन डब्ल्यू पी आई इंडेक्स If there is increase in food prices, CPI would be more impacted than WPI. The third statement: RBI has mandated to target CPI and not WPI. It is a correct statement. In May 2016, RBI Act 1934 was amended to provide a statutory basis for the implementation of flexible inflation targeting framework based on consumer price index. And in this question. you need to identify the incorrect statements the answer to this question becomes a which is 1 and 2 only and the answer to the previous year question is also a which is 1 and 2 only the last question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number 13 in indian express it basically talks about the issue of predatory pricing and the telecom regulatory authority of india has widened the scope of its inquiry in the matter of predatory pricing and unlimited offers which was provided by telecom companies in the past as well as present and in that sense the vodafone idea 4g plan comes under the lens although the context of this news is not important as far as our upsc prelims exam is concerned but 4g and 5g are in news consistently in last one or two year and upsc has not asked a question on 5g till date but previously a question on differences between 3g and 4g was asked so on that theme we have curated one practice question related to the differences between 4g and 5g as you can see in 2019 upsc asked about lte and volte and in this question you are being given two statements and you need to identify the correct one the practice question which we have curated says that consider the following statements the first statement 5g offers significantly faster data transfer speeds compared to 4g it is a correct statement as 5g has the potential to offer download speeds up to 10 gb per second which is significantly faster than the maximum download speed around 100 mbps in 4g networks the second statement 5g utilizes advanced technologies like millimeter wave frequencies beam forming while 4g primarily relies on lower frequency bands it is also a correct statement as 5g networks utilize a wider range of frequency bands which includes millimeter wave frequencies and this particular frequency allow for larger bandwidth and faster data transmission the third statement 5g is expected to enable transformative technologies such as autonomous vehicles remote surgery smart cities whereas 4g mainly supports mobile data and voice communication it is also a correct statement as 4g primarily focuses on providing mobile data services whereas 5g is designed to support a wide range of emerging technologies which include all of these and 5g can also support the development of smart cities where connected devices and sensors rely on reliable and fast network connections for efficient data exchange and management which makes the third statement correct the fourth statement 5G networks can support a large number of devices simultaneously enabling more connections in crowded areas it is also a correct statement as 5G networks are designed to handle a significantly larger number of connected devices simultaneously as compared to 4G and this capability often referred to as massive machine type communications which is crucial for accommodating the increasing number of interconnected devices in our daily lives The fifth statement 5G networks are designed to be more efficient in terms of energy consumption and spectrum utilization it is also a correct statement 5G networks aim to optimize energy consumption by implementing techniques such as network slicing which allows for more efficient resource allocation based on specific service requirements hence it is a correct statement as all the statements are correct the answer to this question becomes D which is all of the above and the answer to the previous year question is also d which is neither one nor two